But one thing I want to mention is that the first week of university, for those of you who like to party, like me, there's a lot. <laughs> tell you guys that I just joined my first university club this weekend. It's our homecoming big day, September 26th. Let's go. I'm really excited to start my actual education here at Laurier. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. Tomorrow is my first midterm, my first university exam ever, so I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm really going off to university now. Kind of a surreal feeling. Oh god, I just spent so much money on clothes. I'm not really sure how I was able to do this, but I actually managed to fit all of that stuff into these two bags. They do look like they're about to explode a little bit though. I think I'm ready to move out, guys. Hey right, guys, this is my dorm room. I'm all set up. Yo, you can come in, Blake. Uh, my boy Blake. How's it going? This is my boy Luca. It is what it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's day eight of this challenge and I am loving university now. The first few days were a little nerve-wracking, a little uncomfortable, that's for sure. Getting to know people. I didn't really know anyone when I came here, so that was a bit of an adjustment period, but now about a week in, I'm feeling really comfortable. I've made really good friends. One thing I want to mention is that the first week of university usually, for those of you who like to party, um, like me, there's a lot. There's plenty. First week is really just trying to get to know each other you know, establishing your social groups and everything. But today, I decided to shoot because it was my first day of actual school. Now, during the shooting of this video, we're still in a global pandemic right now, so first semester for me is all online. University is completely different from high school. It's all about self-discipline, to come to class, to show up, to do your assignments. Nobody's ever on your ass, which is absolutely amazing for all of you people who out there who are excited to be uh, independent and on your own. Once and for all, we're gonna be back in school, in class, everything back to normal in the winter of 2022. So I really do look forward to that. And as much as this party life is really fun um, and getting to know all these new people is really great, I'm really excited to start my actual education here at Laurier. I'm doing my laundry for the first time. Day 13 of this challenge, heading home for a couple days. Oh, I miss this room. <laughs> oh, I'm home. I miss this little guy too. Did you miss me, bro? And I miss my family. I oh, was driving. But to be honest, the main reason I came home is because I'm starting to feel a little sick. And because I forgot some stuff. My boy Maddie's gonna drive me back. Be back. Home sweet home. 2.0. I don't know where my roommate is. I think he went out for the weekend. But it feels damn good to be back. I need you to review it. 250% thank you. Oh, thank you. Alright, what up guys? 
guys, I'm back. It's day 20 of this challenge. I'm sorry I haven't been really updating. I've been super busy with all sorts of stuff from parties to school to new friends to you know working out at the gym to go to the diner's hall to get food like every 30 seconds. I wanted to tell you guys that I just joined my first university club uh, just as a general member um, for first year. It's called LIFA. It's Laurier Investment and Finance Association. It's about investing in the future, business uh, analysis. I also wanted to mention that I am planning on joining another club as well. Uh, a startup club this weekend. It's an exciting weekend for me at Laurier. It's our homecoming. I'm going to be going to watch the football game. So I'm definitely going to have some footage for you guys of that. Big day, September 26th. Let's go. In six minutes, I'm going to be writing my first university quiz. Um, it's in Spanish, so we'll see how I do in that. Creo que fui bien. Alright guys, it's day 30 of this university challenge. I know this is kind of a jumpy video, but tomorrow is my first midterm. So in Canada, that's like an exam. I don't know if they have midterms everywhere else in the world, but it's my first university exam ever, so I'm a little nervous. That's tomorrow, and then I'm going off to McMaster, which is in Hamilton, Ontario, to go to their homecoming. I have a bunch of friends at that university. I'm gonna check that out, it should be fun. And I just wanna say before I wrap up the video that um, university is a great experience. I'm loving it so far. I couldn't imagine not coming to university. I was super nervous before I came here, and understandably so, you probably are too if you're watching this, trying to see what it's like. I know you're gonna be inevitably nervous and you can't really help it. Just know that that nervousness is probably rooted in excitement. Don't feel like you'll have to be a completely different person. Practically everyone here is open to making new friends as long as you are too. Oh yeah, and one other thing I wanna mention before the end of this video is that I actually make TikToks as well as YouTube videos now. Uh, me and my boys uh, go to the gym a lot, so I thought, why not just make workout videos? Um, so I made a TikTok. Do all types of different health and fitness videos, from diet to testing our PR maxes to before and afters to workouts themselves to benching celebrity weights, etc. So if that sounds interesting to you, uh, check out the link below. I'll leave it there. At university, it's possible to achieve anything you put your mind to. You can get fit. You can get smart, you can make friends, you can start a business, join clubs, join sports teams, join... It's a great time. There's something for everyone here at university. And wherever that is, I hope you have an amazing time. I know you will, but I'm going to say it anyways. Peace out. Love you guys. Subscribe for more videos. Later. Alright, sorry guys. I'm going to have to violate the whole idea of my videos and actually interrupt you now here four months into this challenge at the end of first term. I'm actually on my Christmas break right now. Retrospectively, editing this video, I realized that I touch on almost everything that really consumes the majority of your time at university from getting there and making new friends, partying with those new friends. I would just like to take a second to apologize now for the upcoming audio interruptions. I'm really sorry about that. Remember, I'm being super general here from my personal experience. If you're into athletics, some form of physical activity usually accompanies that, like uh, going to the gym, working out, or signing up for some sports team like through intramurals or, you know, actually joining a sports team at university. And finally, studying something that you're generally more interested in, in the hopes of acquiring a job and ultimately a future career. Now there's a fifth variable that's actually a huge part of university that I must talk about that I didn't fully realize until four months in. One thing about university that you're going to realize very, very quickly is that there is almost always going to be somebody who is better than you at anything. University is a collectively humbling experience that literally every single person participates in. And I don't mean this in a degrading way at all. I was subject to this as well, but if you think that you're better than somebody at anything, I guarantee you're going to find somebody at university who's smarter than you, who's done more than you, who's accomplished more than you, who runs multiple businesses, who has a supermodel girlfriend, who is a multimillionaire, who can 360 dunk over seven footers. Not actually, but like, actually. <laughs> so what I'm trying to get across here is that if you have the habit of comparing yourself to other people, drop it. I don't care if you're Tom Brady, you're gonna find something about your life that is comparatively worse to somebody else or multiple people and it's gonna make you feel like 
And this goes both ways and actually in my opinion is significantly worse for those who already think that they're worse than other people and always compare themselves to people who are better than them. If you already struggle with confidence going into university, you're probably going to end up even worse off if you constantly compare yourself to other people. Everybody knows that there's a current mental health crisis, but historically, people have struggled with mental health issues in their early 20s and particularly in the university and college years. And so it's important for us to value confidence, but not think that we're above or below anybody else. And instead, focus on the fact and believe in the fact that your potential is equal to everybody else. If you're not the most athletic person, you can get better at sports. If you're not the most financially stable, well, like everybody else in college, you can have the potential to be financially healthy. If you don't have the best grades, you have the potential to do so much better in school if you believe in that fact. I struggled with this immensely. I had such an inflated ego going into university. I thought I was the and trust me, and I realized very quickly that there are people better than me at literally everything. But I know deep down now, after going f through four months of university, that I have the potential within me to be equally as good as everybody around me at anything, really, if I just focus my mind to it and actually work hard and believe in myself. But what's equally as true is that when you come to university, there's a very high probability that you're gonna meet people who go through the same problems, who suffer from the same struggles as you do, and this can become a, a breeding ground for a very strong relationship. So with that being said, comparing yourself to other people in various aspects of life coming into university is very likely to be the prerequisite to being a different person and trying to be somebody else. Like me, for example. I went for the whole th skater, thrift shopper vibe when I first came to university because I've been thrift shopping a couple times downtown and I skated for a month for a monthly challenge. And because I thought that those people were like generally like the cooler people. Now I deeply regret doing all this because within you know three, four weeks people realize and catch on and go, you know what, you're actually not really that person that you're pretending to be. Instead, focus on literally the only thing that you are guaranteed to be the best at. And this is gonna sound super cliche, but being your true, authentic self at all times. And it will definitely help with your transition and conversion over to the university lifestyle. It's a great time, it's a blast, you should all be excited. I know I've said that like five separate times throughout the course of this video, but yeah, once again, I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, I thank you once again for watching my video and sticking around to the end. Uh, it means a lot to me. Subscribe for future 30 day videos. If you're into self improvement, if you're into goal setting and being the best person you possibly can be, subscribe to the channel. I post every month now being in university, but I'll be back to the two week schedule this summer coming soon. How is that possible? I don't know. Magic maybe. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks again. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Peace. Small penis. Work. Bro, last time you followed me, bro. Last